Well, good morning. You know, if you grew out of this, you may have stopped growing altogether. You know, when I was a young agent, I was told that I only had to do it for a couple of years and then I could graduate, literally grow out of this particular responsibility. You know, of course, I'm talking about numeration. The fourth important rule in being your best or becoming an icon. The idea of counting, counting activities, numeration. Well, you see, that whole plan that I had of graduating, of growing out of the idea by the time uh, I was uh, two years in the business, really kept me in the small money for a long time. That was really all it did. And it may be doing the same to you. And small money is really relative. It just depends on where you start, doesn't it? Now, here's what I do know is that top advisors, the best, the icons in the business, kept at it while I was graduating. They were just getting better. They were getting their postgraduate degree. They weren't growing out of it. They were growing into it. Man, and it, make, it makes uh, such a huge difference in how you're operating. You see, what you have to measure what matters if you want to be an icon, if you want to be your best, you do have to measure. You can't have the thought that I did, well, we'll graduate out of this. You know, that's for somebody else. It's just a mistake. Don't do that if you have any chance to, if you want to be successful. Here's the deal. There's lots of things to measure. Of Results, of course, are critical. I mean, I do that myself even now so that every month when I'm dealing with speaking engagements or coaching clients, I track all of that. And I can tell you, whatever you will measure will improve. You want to get better, of course, that's the whole idea. Numeration for improvement. That's why we do this. Of course, you also measure activity because activity is controllable. Activity is something you can control. You can always put in the effort. You can't really control the response that people have, not directly. And so that's really what you want to do. Activity and results are key. Maybe it's grand points you're going to be um, uh, measuring. Maybe the old idea of half a point for a qualified suspect, a, um, a point for a business meal, a point for a, uh, a case open, a, pay, a, ca a case closed, uh, a point for a fact find, you know, five points a week. Uh, 20 points, sorry, five points a day, 20 points a week, 100 points a month. Maybe that's what you're going to do. It doesn't really terribly much matter. All I know is if you want to be an icon, you better be measuring something. Contacts, calls, number of appointments, number of closes, something. And of course, your results. You should know how many cases you've done and how many you plan to do. These are important steps in this process. So maybe you only do this one piece, one line that I've loved for many years, which is what one thing can you do every day to get, to get a new client? Maybe that's the one thing you measure. You make sure you do at least one thing. So here's my question for you today as you start another week. What can you measure to be an icon? What can you measure to be your best? I'm Jim Ruda. This has been Monday Morning Icon Protocol. I'll be with you again next Monday. In the meantime, if you have any questions, please have a visit to, to uh, jimruda.com and have a look and see if we can help you. Always interested in helping you become an icon.